Hi, 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 it's Taya here. And so in today's tutorial, I will show you the third part of the series um, solving the business analyst technical interview case. And so the background is the application that um, is catered for a um, company to uh, for the employee to create the task and assign it for the other to perform it and I have done um, this assignment from 1 to 5 from the previous chapter so uh, on this tutorial I will be working on the requirement uh, 4, 6 and 7 and I think I will work faster because I have already introduced all the templates and how I would perform it and so without further ado let's jump right to the tutorial So the first tutorial, we already uh, done the first part of the SRS uh, com comprising the goal, main features, and the note. We also draw the side features. On the second tutorial, we already work on the create the action, how we write the specification for them, and draw the mockup. And so right now, we'll be, we, we will be working on the uh, specification and use case for the confirm I have performed the action on the assignee view and so before you proceed to this one please check out the other two because uh, it, this is just like the leading up at uh, the continuation of the last two parts and I can not go back and explain everything again so yeah so let's go uh, so uh, I Organize the four and the six into one category because it's easier to manage and here's the specification for this one Okay, so um, And so um, Starting off with the uh, specification control um, Spec owner and stop reviewer status next is overview. So for this one uh, we will have also to use case for the business problem so on the assignee view uh, you can um, I want to have a feature to allow the confirmation that I, I have done the task so that the reviewer can start working on the reviewing of my task okay and also the assignee the assigner can view the progress of the task uh, has been done by me and also the, for the user story too is that as a reviewer when the the assignee has done his assigned task um, I can see it and able to mark it done by moving it to the done column directory okay so business ob objective is that um, for the assignee he can mark the done so the assigner can see the progress and the assignee can mark the task at need review um, if the task have a reviewer so the reviewer can start reviewing the task see so for the approach we will draw the uh, activity diagram as usual and here you can have the uh, some explanation like if the task is has the reviewer uh, there's any move to review show the confirmation pop-up and when he confirm it will be moved the ticket will be moved to done and marked done officially and if there is no reviewer, reviewer he moved directly to reviewing done, and it's done officially. So here is the flowchart. So the starting off with the assignee to the task. So he have starting already. He performed the task, and he moved to need review. So, and after he moved it to this one, the assigner uh, will show. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh my God. So this one is moved to working. Actually, I think I, I write this one wrong. Move to working, and on the assigner, he will sh he can view the progress as being reviewed. And after he's done, he moved the ticket to the done column, and so it will be show at need review on the assigner, and on the ass on the reviewer, it will create a new to do task, and he can start working on the review task. And the flow is similar, but he if it is a review task he don't have another reviewer to review the review process okay 
and so after he moved to Dunn, uh, it will show respectively on the assignee and the assigner as Dunn as well. Uh, so that is the case if there are reviewer, and if there is no review, reviewer just perform the task, uh, move to Dunn, and it will show on the assigner as review. Okay, so here are the reference with the design file. So uh, just all the design file put it here. The impact module is similar, so your to do task from the assigned view and the task you assign on the assigned view. Also, the your to to do task on the reviewer side as well. So here the user story. The case case one is no reviewer of task. You put the flowchart here again, and the use case is that. Um, first, UK is confirm and have performed the action by the assignee. So for the step, the user move to review and done, and there is confirmation pop up, and user hit OK, and will be moved placed on top of the list. And on the assigner view, the ticket will be moved to review done as well. And for the alternative flow, so if it is step three, the user click no, the task will move back to the last column where it belongs. And um, if the assignee is on the group, it will need the assignee to move to the review task and change to the assignee flow. So that is an alternative flow. Um, if we have select and some unexpected behavior, we need to short them out. And so that is the alternative flow. So basically, here for the step three, so if uh, he moved to the confirm, he moved to the review done, but he hasn't done actually. Um, so there will be a confirmation pop-up because after this point he cannot edit the progress so we need to have this two step of education and if he hit no it will go back to where it previously belonged and if he hit yes it will be put back to the top of the column and if the assignee is a, is a group the task will be break down and everyone have to Everyone of the assignee group have to done it so that it will change the status. Okay, and K two if they are reviewer, um, it's quite the same. Uh, yeah, so just 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 but just the alternative flow. So if they are reviewer, you cannot put it to the done and review column correctly, but it had to pass the re need review column first. Okay, so after he put it to the need review, a new task will be created on the reviewer and he will work on the reviewing. And also, um, and also the use case for the perform and have reviewed action. So this is for the review task. So if the assigner has done the reviewing uh, stuff, he can mark it as done. Okay, and confirm the task hasn't completed by the assignee, which is the review rejection. So the reviewer will mark this one as hasn't completed, and if that's the case, it will <laughs> the, 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 on the assignee, um, it will be moved back to uh, the to do column of the assignee. Okay. So this is the requirement. So I put the design with the ASU, uh, uh, ASU um, clarification on top here, so it's easy to see. So this first one is before and after moving the task to need review. So he is the assignee view, and he is the to do task. And after he has done, for example, this one, he move, he will drag this one to the need review. And after he move to here, uh, there will be a confirmation pop up. To confirm that he has done the task, and if he confirm it, it will be placed on t um, the task will be placed on top of the need review here to mark as this one has been done. And on the reviewer side, it will create a review task on his to do list. Uh, everything is the same, but the original task name has some change with the review um, as the prefix. And after the review is that done, he move instead of moving to need review, he will be moving to the review and done, so that the reviewer will know that the task has officially review. 
next is the um, the use the, the, the reviewer click on this review tab he will see um, the tab title and stuff but they all the view are gray out so he cannot um, edit anything here and also um, the button here instead of undo it will be not done by assignee so if he click here it will move from need review to to do on the assignee side and here if you click to the move to review and done it will be not done officially on all the view from assignee reviewer to assigner okay or instead he he will move this one to this one okay so that is the uh, specification for the four and the six now i will go back to the requirement seven so for requirement seven um uh, so requirement seven so draw the marker for the dashboard report and so if you want to make an impression here i think you should create the specification for this one too because it's very nonsense to create a mockup without any type of um without any type of um uh, explanation okay so for the dashboard specification so for the dashboard the business problem is that you want to have a page where you can keep track of the performance um, of the user the num uh, and the number of tasks he had performed in that period so that we can have the insight of how he has performed them for example in the preparation period performance review so, so business objective is that uh, you can see the overall performance of the staff you can see the performance throughout the timeline of the specific user and combine and compare it with other user and you can create a detail list for the user and how it has it performed and for the approach there are three components of the dashboard page so first one is the chart uh, you can select the attribute and show it uh, plot it on the chart second one is overall table so that you can select one to view it on the chart here and the third one is the detail table so you click on the second one it's also pop up a detail view of the task he has performed for um, a period of time so for the reference we have the design so here is a chart and here are the attribute here is the overall start table and here are the detail list so it will not impact anything uh, but the I think this one is missing so it should, it should impact the dashboard for more of the time okay so track event <laughs> so here we have another new session with the tracking event so because this one requires uh, I mean tracking the event over time in order to create the chart you have to put a tracking event so the dev will put uh, creates another task uh, so he can uh, um, collect the data over time for you to make the task possible so for the requirement in order to track the performance of the specific user you click on the chart you select a day range select timeline select to include review task or not and select the type of task search and select one user and then it will show on the chart so here you can see on the chart here you select the day range sort by, sorted by sorted by will correspond to January here or you want it to be date so if it dates it will like January 1st and January 2nd and stuff include review task uh, so this one is just like a pure assigned task or just it also a review task as well and here is a task user assigned or assigned task okay so it means that you check the performance of your assignee or um, like the, the, the task that you assign and here you have the task um, the, the, the chart sorry with the color corresponding to the priority um, and um, there are also two light chart here so the red light chart will be the performance percentage uh, which is the time actually spent on the estimate from the date the task is created to the deadline and also the performance 
the percentage of the mid deadline task over the total task. So having this one will be very beneficial. Uh, you can see that, for example, if uh, this one they have a long, um, he will assign like five day, but he finished in three day. Um, it will show on the uh, red one, so that you can know that uh, he performed very good on January, but is getting uh, gradually worse <laughs> until April before going back up again. And for the uh, green one, um, made a deadline so that oh, I'm sorry, I think I should say the opposite. So for the green one, um, the for the red one actually performance. So he has done pretty good on January before slipping on February, but go back again on March and April and dip again. Okay, well, that is the chart. And on the chart here, we have the date. So the requirement is that the start date must be before the end date and also the distance must be high more than one day. How many options by of the separate by include a side chart or not and set and select one user stop. Okay here so we have the corresponding to review compare with other. So here if you click here you can select another person and if you select another person as there will be two tasks such show side by side so that you can compare the performance for example of the two employee at the same time. Uh, requirement two is for the overall performance of the task. So here you can uh, have the uh, overview of for like example like the whole company and you can see that who is the employee of the month that month and stuff. Uh, you can see here. Um, third one is the uh, the detail list of how they perform. So we have the overall battle here, uh, the table here, but you can view on chart. So it plot, it will be plotted on here, or you say view detail, and it will show on the detail view. So in the detail, it will list out all the tasks that he has done from the day created to the deadline, and um, you click on the header to resort. You click on the view detail, so you open the pop up to see the detail and uh, you can know that if it meets deadline or not so with this one a very um, useful if you uh, may check so for example in that month why is that employee is able very bad you can see that if you click on here you can see that maybe the task for him is a little bit too much on that month um, but so, so so you know that it's not his issue but it's, it's just the task issue pagination here okay and i think this one is the end of this specification so i hope you like it and this is also the end of the whole series regarding the technical uh interview so i hope you like it and if you do really like so i would have the motivation to do um, the other technical interview later uh, so we can learn more about this and, and I think next week I will put out another um, list of questions that you will always be asked if you work, if you go to an interview as a business analyst. So stay tuned and see you later. Bye.